that marshmallow or chocolate over the top of it, shaped like a fish. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the chocolate fish cafe is the spot. If the weather's fine tomorrow, pretty much the only decent sort of beach around here is across the harbour. Dump a little area that we've got to swap down there. Bailed, but uh, never mind. Got a valley named after him. Got the, the stadium there, you can see why they call it the Cape Town now, because that's the, the shape of it. The marina down there, there's another one just down below us in these trees here. It's called the Royal Port Nicholson Yacht Club. Very posh, yes. It's about a hundred years old and uh, my mate's mum owns it and uh, yeah, quite loaded. Um, down the waterfront here, of course the, the big bean area. Okay, there's a cable car that runs all the way up past that, that garden area to an observatory, which is uh, another couple of hundred meters up higher than that and uh, up there is the uh, botanical gardens really 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 nice up there to go to the botanical gardens um, coming back down if you go the third row back from the waterfront one two three that there is Courtney Place okay that's the one that we drove down that's where the bars and cafes are who's staying at the Cambridge Hotel yeah if you look above the tree line there's a brown building and behind it is a purple roof just straight above the, the tree line there. That brown building is the Cambridge Hotel. And the YHA is just a, a little bit closer to the waterfront here. There's a whole pile of yellow buildings and there's a clock tower in one of them. Straight behind the clock tower is a, a building with a blue roof and that there is the YHA. So all pretty darn close. Coming back further around, you've got the, uh, the oval down there. They've got a couple of rugby posts up at the moment, but it's the Basin Reserve. That's where we play all our international test cricket. That's where we whooped India's ass this year. Thank you very much. And straight above, on the top of the hill from the, the basin, you can see a wind turbine up there making a bit of electricity. And it's really funny, they put that up there nine years ago, right? an experimental wind turbine, and three months it blew over, so they had to <laughs> put another one up and like tilt the angle so it didn't catch so much wind and fall over. That's pretty much Wellington. Anyone got any questions about Wellington? Which South Island? South Island is that way, straight behind the wind turbine. That's what I was Island is called Soames Island. Yeah, I've got to tell you about Soames Island. Soames Island is our answer to that Alcatraz. Okay. <coughs> back in the old days, that's where we used to put our prisoners back in the 1880s and the early 1900s. Um, and after that, during the first and second world war, it was a prisoner of war camp. And then after that, it turned into a quarantine area for animals. So all the animals that come over from Europe dump them here for three months to make sure that they were and um, then we let them on the mainland. So, yeah. It's rock in the middle of the harbour, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's a couple of things about them out there in, in the old buildings, so it's probably a way to make it. What about the compasses and the other things? There's like nothing there. It's got five trees and grass. <laughs> Some old buildings that are falling over. So, yeah. Any other questions about Wellington?